When you're camping an hour from Key West, you have to go, right? But what if the only vehicle you have is this? Parking in Key West is notoriously difficult. The smaller the car you have, the more likely you're going to be able to find parking. It was going to be a challenge, but we had to try. So we made ourselves as small as possible by removing the bike rack, and we headed out, not knowing if we'd be able to find a parking spot or not. Let me tell you a little bit about our van so you'll know how hard it's going to be. Our 2022 Echo is just a little over 23 feet long, it's 10 and a half feet high, and 86 and a half inches wide. So I think maybe it's some kind of rule or some kind of law that if you're this close to Key West, you have to go. We're going to drive down to Key West and at least go get some lunch and walk around, and that is if we can find parking. I am a little concerned that at 24 feet I'm going to have a hard time finding parking. You excited? Wanted to pass before we could go to park. Hey, we found a spot that <laughs> we are tight, and it took us a while. I don't know if I can get out over here, we're in the white line though. That's as far up as I can go. You want me to go look and see what it looks like in the, back. Looks like in the back? I think we're in. That's what it looks like. I think. We're in from this side, barely in on that side. I think, I think it'll work. We are tight though. Thirty dollars for eight hours. Okay, uh, I actually think we're okay. We're in this parking place. It was thirty dollars for eight hours of parking, and we have enough room to get in Lynn's door pretty easily. So the lot we found is right in front of the post office. Pretty excited about this. That might, so be, excited. That might be as good as it really gets, man. Right there, that might be as good as it gets. All of these uh, iguanas. Are you checking out houses you want to move into, Maggie? Little lady. <laughs> Every little driveway she turns down, yeah. thinking there might be something in there for me. Look, oh, here she goes again. Oh, are you looking for the van now? lunch at the Scooter Wharf and Grill Bar and that's a staple here that's been here forever and now we're just walking down to Duval Street. What's so funny is that every uh, storefront we go by that has air conditioning or a restaurant or something, Maggie wants to go inside. Not the shop, just to get the air conditioning. She likes her air conditioning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she can come in whenever she wants. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'll be chasing the chickens. It's against the law here. <laughs> she is not happy. Oh, she is not happy. Oh, she is not happy. Oh, Key West during the day is a lot different than Key West at night. It is. We want to go eat at the Southernmost Cafe, which is just way down that way, about a mile. It's only about two tenths of a mile to get back to the van, which has ice cream, which for me is pretty tempting. What do you think? All right. We're here. Yeah, we paid to park. We might as well go get one of those uh, 
Lobster pizza. That's what everybody says. A lobster pizza. We have a, a tongue wagging dog here who does not like this heat. No, not at all. She says, Take me back to the mountains. Maggie, you want to walk a mile? <laughs> So we had to walk right by the Echo in order to get to the southernmost cafe, the beach cafe. So we decided we'd stop, leave Maggie here, make sure things are going to cool off, and we would um, get some ice cream and kind of relax for a few minutes and rest. We're home. We might as well relax and uh, kind of split this part of the trip in half. One of the real big advantages of having an RV or a van. It's little. <laughs> It's awesome. Here's the Key West Lighthouse, the only lighthouse in the continental United States that's inside the city limits. I saw another one that says, a good lawyer knows the law, a great lawyer knows the judge. That's pretty good. And then I saw one that says, I'm no gynecologist, but I'll take a look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do that because I'm married, but you know, you might want to think about that if you're single, that'd be a good t-shirt to get. Lynn saw another t-shirt, what did it say? <laughs> I'm not arguing, I'm just explaining why I'm right. <laughs> Up here. There she hey, is. Duncan. Hey, my baby girl up here sleeping. Hey. Hey, sweetheart. Is it cool in here? It is. All right, you want to get your pizza? Get the pizza? Come here. Come here. You want it? Come, come over on. here. Back over here. Remember? Come on. Come on. Right. I just started. I didn't get the front oh, part Lord, of I'm it. Stuck. <laughs> Not the easiest thing, but he didn't want to get out because we were parked so close to the guy beside of us. Uh, and this thing right here has a tendency to poke you where the sun doesn't shine. Oh so yeah, that's true. Be careful about that. Yeah, Lynn's a lot more graceful than I am. I've done it a lot yeah. more than you have, but I have to have to contend with the old man. I know you do. Too, this <laughs> little thing right here, you crawl from the back seat. Uh, up to the front with this thing, start out as a tight end and end up a wide receiver. <laughs> that should be a t-shirt, shouldn't it? Step right onto Old Bahia Honda Bridge, then your destination will be on the left. Like we worried about finding parking was hard, but we were able to find it, and you can too. It'd be easier in a Miata or a VW Bug, but when all you have is your RV, you got to do the best you can to be flexible and just make it work, all while making the most of every day. Until next time, we're glad you're here. <laughs>
happy tales.